what uh, Leke said in his tweets about how he couldn't even get the computer yes. power to do their work that they yes. promised. Um, thoughts on that? That was pretty it shocking. It's pretty shocking. And, and uh, uh, my interpretation of that is that uh, OpenAI is no longer a company that prioritizes uh, AI safety. Uh, and, and I think that uh, this departure of, of uh, one after the other of their best uh, AI safety researchers re reflects this situation that they, they, they feel that they are no longer uh, in, in an environment that, uh, where they are able to do their best uh, work. And I really, really very strongly appreciate Jan Lake's uh, openness in, in, in speaking about his reasons for uh, departure. The, the first thing I thought of was that we absolutely need the AI safety competence of people like Sutskover and, and Lake. And we need it at OpenAI because uh, unless somebody... Uh, miraculously finds the one simple trick that solves um, AI alignment, uh, then then the most the more likely scenario is that we really ha need to have the best possible alignment team working together with the capabilities uh, developers uh, wherever we see. Uh, the AGI breakthrough, and I do think that OpenAI is is um, uh, at the top of the field right now and the most likely candidate for having such a breakthrough. So it's truly, truly important. It, it seems to me that this should have been the lead story on every newspaper and every newscast in the entire yeah. world. Yes, but but we are not there yet. I think that. 2023 saw a tremendous improvement in, in uh, uh, public awareness about uh, AI safety issues, but from an extraordinary low level, and, and, and it's still at too low a level, but, 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 but the, um, the derivative, the trajectory is at least uh, in the right direction.